Hey friends, today is June 24th. So I did already my check out of the hostel. I'm going to Keelan today, have an Airbnb there. My check-in is three. Today is very hot, like all the days this week. Yeah, feeling okay after, after that ride, after that hike. Still feel like uh, I should get some more rest because it's a hostel, uh, people go and come. Yeah, so now I'm just waiting for breakfast, order some eggs and dumplings. And let's see how this day is gonna go. As you see, the weather today is magnificent. <laughs> yeah, very hot, very good. I'm thinking, guessing maybe it's 33. I need to return my scooter also. Uh, it's not far, so that's the good thing. So this was my Airbnb, the hostel. Looks like this. I had the last bed by the window. It has AC. This is the first floor. They have a restaurant here. Yeah, and the second and third floor are the rooms. So I'm at the train station. Uh, waiting for the train should be like in a half an hour It's gonna cost me 90 Taiwanese dollars yeah, And it's gonna take like for about an hour. I need to go to some kind of room really fun place So I'm here I made it Now I need to get my keys to the Airbnb The ride took me like more than an hour so this place looks kind of crowded. I'll repeat the name, it's called Rui Fang. I know I'm saying it not correctly, so sorry. But it's very close to Kila. That's the only Airbnb I could find. Uh, yeah, it could be also be so full cool because Taipei is very close. I'm gonna go get my most likable milk tea. This one, 50, 50 something. <laughs> it's very good. So I arrived at my Airbnb. The owner is kind of businessman. I think he like fixes car scooters. This is my room. So I'm booking this room for two more days, so three three nights in total. Uh, the second two nights are like 700 each. Uh, so it's something a little bit more than 20 euro. I paid for the hostel 15 euro, but yeah, this is way better. So they don't rent scooters here for foreigners, so I need to go to Keelung. It's going to take me 15 minutes. This is the station, if you can see it, Rui Pang. So I'm at Kilong. I could say I already did the circle. I'm gonna take a train from Kilong back to Taichung, so definitely that, that counts like a circle around, around Taiwan. Yeah, it's been a long, long journey. That looks cool, I don't know if you see it, but there's like a big Buddha there. Yeah, cool, poor, poor city. Yeah, I feel like I should I should like head on to another country <laughs> I'm uh, growing roots in Taiwan I think I should go so find the scooter they want 500 per day at first they asked 550 but they can do like 90% discount yeah, 
this count. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go check another place at seven minutes. I'll see if I'm gonna come back here. Just take it. I think it's the last one also. So this is Kila. Now this, this so far looks quite clean, organized. There's not like a lot of uh, local shops, local restaurants. So it look, looks more cleaner. It's kind of foggy. I suppose it could rain soon. That's good. Yeah, it's gonna cool off everybody. So, I said before I booked this place for two more days, I'm checking out 27. Then at 27, I'm going to Taichung and upload all my videos wonder how much will it take to have a lot of footage yeah a lot of footage that's gonna be cool to make videos and need a book a ticket to Hong Kong I heard Hong Kong is even more hotter uh, but you can get like a cheap flight from Hong Kong to Laos then from Laos to Cambodia and then from Cambodia I think to to India and then to Nepal but I'm like quite feeling just to go back home <laughs> or just I need like a rest like for three days just don't do nothing at all just rest my body needs it I'm like pushing my limits yeah I kind of like this the fresh air you can smell the sea yeah, it reminds me of home it's quite quite good weather also maybe it's cooler here because it's the north it's the north of Taiwan So this place, Mobber, it's a little bit further, but they also have scooters. So I'm gonna go ask them what's the price, maybe it's cheaper, it looks, it looks cheaper. Okay, so the dude told me like, oh, Keelong doesn't rent for foreigners, you need an international Taiwanese license. I know that I'm going to go back to that shop that I was and the owner said they rented the girl also didn't ask me for like international Taiwanese just need to go back fast <laughs> that was their last scooter So I did not get the scooter, they were too picky about all of it. But I think if you go there, you will get better luck. Yeah, so I'm without a scooter, that was kind of a waste of time. Now I'm gonna go check out the city, yeah, take a look. see what this place has to offer starting to rain it's a shame that I didn't get a scooter 
Maybe I'll leave sooner. Just leave the Taijung and that's it. So, just enjoying life in Keelung. So far this place kind of reminds me of Taipei. Quite hectic, a lot, of, a lot of cars, a lot of scooter, the traffic is heavy. Yeah, but it's still nice. Not boring. So far it looks like there's a lot of laws here and they really respect them. Uh, there were like pictures of uh, footage that people like leave trash and stuff like that. Also the scooter thing, you know, they just don't rent that easily like in other places. It just looks like they obey the law much more than different parts of uh, Taiwan. So I didn't give up. I found a scooter, but it cost me 800. They said if I rent two more days, it's gonna be like uh, 500 per day. This is the shop. It's very close to the station. This is the station. Yeah, so good luck for me. So I kind of get it why they don't want to rent for tourists, the traffic is very heavy, not super heavy but heavy, <laughs> uh, also a lot of cameras, a lot of everything, they took my car, told me like if I do any uh, like uh, crossing red light and stuff, they have my car details so. So yeah, I also saw a car, car crash, didn't see it, but the ca cars were like, kissed each other. So I'm at this point, it's the small island, I still have some uh, daylight left, maybe 30 minutes, this place looks kind of cool, relaxing, gonna go take a look. It looks like you need to pay to enter this. So yeah, they're, they're closed. It's already 6. We'll come here tomorrow. What the hell is that? It just looks like a cool view. Oh look, there are people down there. Looks like they're fishing. There should be a sunset, but it's over. So ordered pork noodles. This bowl is huge. Very big. The hell is that? Looks like a snail party. There's like literally thousands of snails. Look at this. Big fella. It's pretty dark, but I'm on the other side where I showed you where I was at the port. I showed you a port, there were people, so I'm on a hill. Yeah, it's kind of 
Vancouver, it's very dark. So it's like a port area. So this is it. It's here. was on the other side on this side now I'm here yeah, it's quite cool just dark so I'm back at Rutang took me about 30 minutes from Keelung actually I thought it's gonna be like uh, longer because I wasn't even like going fast but it wasn't that far yeah, there were a little bit of hills. I'm feeling kind of tired. So I'm gonna go find an ATM and I'm going back home. So I will repeat myself. This is my hometown for three days. I call it Rifang. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, maybe Rifung, Rifang. Right home. Yeah, so my Airbnb is just around the corner. The street is kind of busy. My window is by the street. So a little bit, it's a shame, but it's gonna be okay. Waiting for my laundry to finish. So that's it. I'm gonna finish my day. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.